Hello guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to 616 Drones. We're going to do a review of this right here. Dragon Touch Action Camera Version 2. Pretty sweet. Ultra HD Sport. 16 megabyte 4K 170 degrees Wi Fi. Um, to where you see it right there 170 16 megabyte um, 90 feet underwater and Wi Fi. So, yeah, action cam. So, there. There's some more info. 60 megabyte pixel CMOS sensors. So yeah, this is pretty sweet, guys. Waterproof up to 98 feet, so that's not bad. So let's get down to this. Let's start opening the thing up. Yeah. I bought this from Amazon about $50. Round it off. So, right off the bat, you see a plastic case with the camera there. Looks like there's a camera there. There's the back end getting started. There you go. I don't know, not bad though, not bad at all. So this is number six cam that I bought. Six or I don't know, I can't remember. Move some uh, protection in here. There you go. Pretty standard cam. Not much different than the rest of them, but this one here, you have depth perception. Kind of like what your eyes do, focus on a different thing. There you go, guys. We'll see what happened here. Let's see if we turn this on. Actually, let's move this first. Off the stick here, and then let's just get started. Peel off in the back of the screen and camera lens. Took the lens cap off already, so it's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see, it doesn't come with SD card, so there you go. That's a come with SD card in there, and I think there's a, uh, you know what, we're just going to leave that filament on there. There's a uh, protection right here, so the majority of the time I just leave it there. See if it turns on. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe because there's no battery in it. See? No battery in it. No batteries in there. So let's dig dig down deep in here. So there's a big box in here. All the attachment and other bracket and stuff. So there we're first greeted with a uh, in case that door breaks off, fully sealed. Go. There's one, along with some instructions. Instructions, yeah, recyclables. A bracket that you can mount to anything. So there you go. They got the millimeter uh, bracket there. I think a six millimeter. There's that, and the cool thing is you can remote it 
you can press record if you're, you know, you have your um, camera facing back and you want it to hit record yourself. So there you go. You can take pictures and video. All right, from your, you know, you basically you just wear it as like a watch, you know, a watch and it goes on like that and you hit record and take pictures. So 16 megabyte, I mean, not bad at all. There's the adapter. There's another adapter. Number four. Oh no, three. There's a bike, bicycle handle that you mount up out to it, and then you can, which I'm planning on doing it with my bike. There's number five, six. I'm not sure why it comes with a keyboard and that pad and stuff, so. But there you go, guys. You got some of that. And I don't think I ever used this before, too, so I got like eight of those so far. And there's another one there. USB to stand, micro USB to standard USB port for charging. You got your female end attachment and you got your male end attachment there. There you go. Here's some more uh, mounting bracket. One is in an angle. What's neat about this, it comes with dual battery. Dual battery, guys, for 50 bucks. So, batteries. There's another adapter to right angle. And here comes the battery. It comes with two batteries. Chargeable lithium battery, lithium ion battery. There's the, I don't know if you guys can be able to read that. 3.7, then 50 milliamp per hour, 3.885 watts per hour. There you go guys, two of those. Two of those there. Same thing. Same thing. So hopefully this that normally I label these I label both batteries so I know which battery to go on what. So it's very useful because I have another set of batteries here, fully different. So there, totally different. Same connector. I'm pretty sure I can use this for the other one. So they're the same thickness, 3.57. Yeah, 3.7 volts. So they're all 3.7 volts. Basically, we're going to set them here. Here's your charge. And I have uh, other ones that's right here. Right there. These are from the H. Should be the same. These ones are now only 900 milliwatts, milliamps per hour. Let's see. This one's a thousand milliwatts. Yeah. 
kiloamps, 3.7 Wemius. The one I use for my car is Wemius, so. And this one here, I think they're about the same. Come on. It's all to 900. So this, this and this one here, these two are 900. This one's a thousand. And this one is 1050. 1050 and this one. Majority of the new batteries you're gonna get is about 1050. Um, 1050 milliwatt, milliamps per hour, so, and that's pretty good, longer the last time, um, charging wise, so, but that those charge, let's put this Wimius one in here. In. And there you go. There you go, guys. It's in there. Let's see if she turns on. Uh, back in touch. There you go, guys. Let's see. There you go, guys. Not bad. It's adjusting to it. Well, you know how you can, uh, you know how you look it's pixelated. So, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Apparently it says uh, sensor shut off. Right now it's 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's out of date, 1-1-2019. One, one, 60 megabyte for photos. Oh, it has slow motion, 70, 720p, 720p, 120 feet per second. Slow motion. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to get that. Slow motion icon. There you go. Nice. So there you go, guys. Dragon Touch 4K and pretty powerful battery. You get the port there. This is for charging. This this port here is a mini display port, and you got the SD card right there. So check it out, guys. Fifty bucks on Amazon. Dragon Touch version three. Check it out, Ultra HD camera. So, compared to GoPro, not bad, not bad price. I mean, you can't beat it. So, there you go. Dragon Touch version 3. Thanks, guys. Peace out and be good. Take care.